Hello farms, thank you for coming here. If you are old here, thanks. If you are new here, please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified time I upload a new video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to design a fly like this using Photoshop. Before any further ado, let's get started. So here I'm using A5 paper size. So now the first thing to do, I'm going to select a pen tool or you press P use on your keyboard. Then I'm going to click around here, click here, then you combine it together. Okay, so these are the code I'm using for the column. So, and I'm going to leave them in the description so that you can make use of it if you want to practice on this tutorial. Then, Ctrl plus J to duplicate it, or you drag it down. Then right click on it to flip it. Then go back again to your test and copy the color code. Double click here. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then, so on this one we are going to design now so this one will be behind the first ones and the second one so use your pen tool again then combine it together increase it a bit Then double click on it, copy the color code, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select this area and paste your color by using Ctrl plus V. Then you drag it down below. It's okay like this. Okay, now, after this, I'm going to draw a rectangle. So make sure the rectangle you are going to draw will be long like this. Then I'm going to select the first color background. Now rotate it, then you position it at the top, using your arrow key, we rotate it. So, I copy this color to this one. Then, duplicate it again, Ctrl plus J. Then, using your arrow key to move it up.
So what I did is to hold down my control key, then I click on that layer. Also hold your shift key while you click on this layer. Then select your eraser tool. Then click on the first layer. Now click OK. That is to rasterize the layer. You want to erase. So you can see it. When I turn it off, you can see how it erase the area. Now you enter Ctrl plus D to deselect. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Then you drag it down. Arrange it properly. You can change the color so that you can see it properly. Just the way we change the color of the first one. Then hold your control key while you click on it. The same thing to this one. Then if you are going to do it both, make sure you hold your shift key. Then click here. Okay. That is to rasterize the layer you want to erase. So you can turn it off to see the effect of it. Now you press Ctrl plus D to deselect. So you can return your former color now. Then reduce the opacity. You can make the opacity 50% or any one you want. It can be 30, 40 or 45. So it depends on your choice. So as you can see, I made adjustment to the opacity there. So that is the same way you can do. Then draw another rent angle. Then apply a round shape to it. Then I'm going to rotate it. Then I'll place it over here. Then rotate it to make sure it's straight. Then change the color to this color here. Now you can drag it down here. Also duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. So you can place it the way you want your own to be.
So we are going to apply the same thing we did to others. Select your eraser tool. Then you duplicate it. Then position it somewhere around there. It's okay. Reduce the size. Then I'm going to drag it down. Then I duplicate it again. Then position this one around here and reduce it a bit. Then you drag it down below. You can put it at the top or below. So anyone is not bad. So as you can see, I also return it. Then apply this color. Then duplicate this one again then you can take it to the top then you place it over here then change the background color to white Then also duplicate this one. Then you take it to the top here. So on this one, we are done now. So the next thing now is to bring my image. So now I'm going to select my monkey tool, then select this portion, right click, then create, make a copy, then drag it up, So I'm going to use this to cover up the other area that is showing white. The position of the image is okay like this. So, right. Okay, so now you can begin to do any importation. So, the first I'm going to import my test. So, I have already designed or typed the test in this place. So, all I'm going to do now is to bring it in my designing. Ctrl Z All I'm doing now is to arrange them in order So go back to your design it then you select the one you want and drag it into your Photoshop So all these are made in the text in the folder. So I will upload the folder, then you download it and make use of it. So I'm going to select them one by one. Then I'm position them in the right area I want them to be. So 
So in this area, I'm going to fast forward so that it will not take us much time. All right, so we are done with the arrangement now. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select this layer, then I'll cut out this red angle. Okay, so I have cut out the rectangle line. So the second one is the transparent one. So I'm going to select the two of them. You can do it one by one. So now I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut out the transparent right angle there. So that is the line. So I'm going to select it one by one while I cut it. Then Ctrl plus D to deselect. All right, so you can see now. Position this one in an area where it can also be seen. Then increase it a little. So thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. I really appreciate it.